Welcome to my Kitchen Italiano. It's Lindsay Baker for Lunch Break Live on Jane on Chain. And today I am going to follow up my other recipe that I did a couple weeks ago. So this sauce is amazing because you can use it. It's the basic basis of many uh, Southern Italian recipes. You can make sausage and peppers. You can make eggplant parmesan. You can make lots of other dishes that I am going to veganize for you. So let's, I'm really excited, let's get started. And this is our home. And right here, I have all of the ingredients. You wanna come in a little closer, John? Thank you. So let me go over the ingredients with you guys. I'm going to be using, I made my famous meatballs, which I'll show you later. And I am gonna be using Beyond Meat Sausage, okay, today, which is very easy. We're gonna actually start getting that started. I'm gonna be using my uh, Vitamix, so we're gonna use that to blend it all together. But this is the ingredients. Now, this is a little different than you're probably used to because look at this. There's four types of tomatoes. I told you it was a secret recipe. We're using a sauce, a paste. We're using uh, peeled pomodoro, those are the plum. And we are also using peeled, as I said before, a little bit of garlic. Now, I couldn't. Fresh cloves are better, and you would use two of those, but I don't have it, and then you're going to use basil, and the reason I couldn't get it, of course, is because of the shortages we're experiencing. Some black pepper, and I'm gonna put this aside, sorry, John, for jumping off camera on me like that. But what I like to do is start off with a little bit of the olive oil, and what we're gonna do here even though it says to put them in, in, in this recipe of my mom's, let's see, I'm putting in as far as the olive oil. Wow, they're asking for a third of a cup. I'm gonna put a little less than that in, a little less than that, and I'm gonna uh, start that off the flame, and then I'm gonna put the garlic in here and toast it for a minute before I add in all the other ingredients. So we're gonna get that started, are you close enough in here for, so people can see? So I'm opening the garlic, and I'm going to put the garlic in here. And so it said two cloves, so I'm gonna imagine what I think that would entail. Two cloves of garlic, and put that in there. And we'll get this going here. Now while I'm getting that going, I'm gonna start something else up. I'm gonna start getting the sausage brown because it takes about 10 minutes, but I want it ready because actually I have to pre-make, had to pre-make this sauce for you because you're gonna cook this sauce when everything's put together for two and a half hours. So obviously we cannot do that today. I've already made up a little batch over here and I've got my meatballs done. So we're gonna put everything together for you very quickly, but you'll get the idea but you would start the sauce early, and I always like starting with the garlic toasting, even though it does not call for that. So I'm gonna let that toast up a minute. I don't wanna walk away, because it does. You can come in closer, and wanna show a shot of in the pot how it looks. Thank you, like up from up above? Cool, yeah, great, that's awesome, John, that's perfect. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, good, so that's good, they can see. Now we just back up a little, and we're just gonna let this cook. My husband, I'm gonna have to pay him for this. He's doing a great job. I don't think I can afford him, that's the problem. <laughs> you just don't have to pay someone else. Yeah, so okay. So now that this is kind of toasted, I'm gonna just turn it down, way down for a second, because I really have to concentrate over here on putting all these tomatoes and not splashing them. So we're gonna come around here, John, Hopefully the light will show. Maybe I can just bring this forward. Bring this forward a little bit. Our new blender. This is a Vitamix blender. It's super powerful. I'm gonna need that. So let's just place that there. Okay, so we're gonna cut this in half. So it says three cans of whole tomatoes. So obviously I'm gonna use one and a half because I'm cutting the recipe in half and I will give you the half recipe. This was quickly done for me by my sister-in-law. One thing you will notice, tomatoes really splash. So now these are whole tomatoes. 
words to see that we're using. You could take little, uh, another way I do this, I do a marinara sauce over here. Um, and I use just the plum tomatoes, I blanch them. That's a whole other day, I'll show you that recipe. But these work fine, they, uh, some people say, well, they look like fresh, but you know what? My mom's been using this our whole lives and people rave about her sauce, so I'm not gonna worry about the fact that it's not right, you know, right off the vine. It's pretty fresh. So I'm gonna set this one over here and I'm gonna go in here. So the tomato paste, we're gonna add a large tomato paste. So we're gonna just add this one can. Now notice how thick this is. I want it to, people get in the, are you close in so they can see? Oh, I think so. Okay, good. I will trust your judgment here. You're doing fine, Tom. Thank you. Hope you are as well. Thanks for tuning in, Tom. He's one of our supporters. We love you guys. Please share out this video. Anybody else on yet, John? Have we had any Say again. Do we have any other people on right now? Uh, let's see. We yeah, we had three or four others. Nice. Nope, not watching it, Tom. But I'll I'll tune it in. Check it. What time? But I will give exact amounts in the uh, recipe that I put up on the website, janeonchain.com. So please go there. It will be up in the next day or so for you. Okay, so now we have the tomato sauce. Believe it or not, we use all of this. So it says 15-ounce can, which this is. We're going to cut it in half again. So each of these are cut in half. I still think you can come in a little closer. I know... I know that to me. Yeah, I think that's it, right? So we have our, our... Got it, Tom. So we got our four types of tomato in there, right? Yes, we did that. Okay, so now we're going to put in... My way to keep everything super sanitary. Now we're going to put in our basil. And so two tablespoons of, and what I have here, I bought this at Ralph's. It's a basil. Um, it's already, let me show you what it looks like. Let's see. So it says two tablespoons. Yeah. Two tablespoons. That's a lot of basil. Everybody has a taste. You know, some people don't like basil. I love basil, but some people don't. So you might want to temper that. I think everyone in my household likes it. Um, what do you think, John? You like basil? I think so. Yeah, so John's going to be having all of this later. I'm going to try it out. And, uh, yeah. So, okay, I think we just have to add the salt and pepper and put, grind this up. So I'm adding, oh, I don't know, about a teaspoon of pepper and salt. Ooh, grow, our own, grow our own what, Tom? <laughs> Your own tomatoes? You know what, Tom? That's a great idea. In fact, on Jane on Chain, can you put the... When Jane on Chain, when we, um, a couple weeks ago, Jane had a guest on, and you can grow your own gar complete garden to provide yourself with vegetables for the entire year. This company, I'll put a link to it if you're interested. And you can actually grow, and then you know your vegetables are fresh, and you know they're organic, so it's quite great. Plus, we're supporting local vegan companies. He was asking about the basil. Oh, do I grow my own? No, Tom, I don't. I should. But I've got a kind of a black thumb. Oops. That's a pretty tight fit there. Now, let me remember. How do you do this? There we go. Now, that's only on a three. So, we're going to blend it up. Sometimes I like to pretend I'm in a car and I'm just going a little faster. Go, 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 be good. All right, 
he said you forgot to do the blender dance, but you just did the blender dance. I did, well, I did my own version. You guys want to see how high this goes? That makes it into a puree. tried it and it works. Do you let them set at room temperature or do you put them in the fridge? I have mine sitting, well, you know, I did it right before I prepared the whole meal. So let's say you start with that and then I just leave mine in the oven because it's only a couple of, an hour, hour and a half and they, and they get a little firmer, which is perfect. Exactly what we want. So I'm going to let this cook, cook over here. I'm going to get this messy mess out of here. So we're not going to shoot this side. This is our sink side. We're going to do that out. Put the lid on here. And then over here, I'm going to start the Beyond Meat Sausage. I think our pasta is done in the back. I have the pasta all cooked so we can throw this together. Um, but what I want to do now is open up this Beyond Meat. So you have both meatless meatballs and meatless sausage? I do. And it is going to be fantastic because if you make this sauce, now there's a lot of Let them see the package. Oh, yeah. Good idea, John. That was great. There you go, Tom, in case you were worried. And, and, and I think we showed our olive oil, extra virgin. Extra, extra virgin is even better. So but, Zoe Ferguson is on. There were a lot of other people on before. I didn't tell you. Hey, I'm so glad. Well, they're probably still watching. I'm going to put a little bit of water in the frying pan and cook the uh, sausage with water because they have enough oil. We don't have to have so much extra oil because even though olive oil is considered healthy, we just don't need to put too much oil in our foods and we don't have to. Why do it? So I'm just, my hands are clean. I've been washing them over and over and I've got these lovely sausages which will show you in just a minute. I'm actually yeah, gonna Lucy gonna... is saying this is blurry, but it's, it's not on my end. Huh. So Sometimes Lucy it's... Mullen said it's blurry. How about for some of you other folks? Is it blurry? It's not on this end. It could be her connection. You know, if other folks say no. So we're just... Tom, is it blurry or not? Zoe said not for her. Okay. Tom said no, it's fine here. Okay, so I think the person, I'm sorry I didn't catch the name, but the person that's having trouble, probably your connection, just hang tight. Tom said it's fine. It'll clear up. I'm going to put this over here for a moment and strain the, uh... but you can come over here, show what's happening here with the sausages browning, and maybe we show over here the sauces. Whoa! So that's the thing you have to do. You have to keep stirring and you have to keep watching. And this will go on for, like I said, for two 
for two hours. Two and a half. <laughs> two and a half hours. Right, Helen. See, I'm listening. smell it already, but we're going to keep that real low. Our sausage over here is cooking up. You can see there's also, you can see already a little bit of fat coming off it. Yeah, yeah, we want to get in real close like that. That's the kind of shots we want. Okay, because that's going to, that's what they're going to be able to see with that. Some people have a tiny camera. Yeah, Tom's using um, his phone. His phone, yeah, and they can't see, so it looks good, but for us. So these are just going to cook. While that's happening, let me show you my meatballs. So this isn't hot because I cooked them before. These are my specialty. I stole one this morning. I'm guilty. But these are my meatballs. They look just like the old style meatballs. This is the new life, new style meatballs. And uh, you're going to see them go in there a little bit later, just a couple minutes later. We're going to get the sausage cooking. So that's kind of the... Um, what I do is I turn my sausage, too. Yes, so you just have like, to turn it. We do have to turn it. So we do. And it's got to cook only 10 minutes. Remember, this is cooked already. Use a spoon instead of a fork, and you won't puncture them. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, I have to have tips because... Until you know, you're ready. It, I'm not the best chef in the world, but you know what? Since I became vegan, I'm learning a lot about cooking, and I'm having a blast, and I'm making phenomenal food because you've got to learn. I mean, just think about how wonderful this is. See all, can you just show that there's actually, you can see that there's um, oil and, and the fats coming off of here. It's healthy vegetable um, fats, healthy fats. But nonetheless, you don't need to add more. And that's for people that don't want or worry about calories. We don't really have to worry about the calories. Tom um, said so cruelty-free meatballs. We don't really have to worry about calories on a vegan diet because it's nutrient-dense food. You feel satisfied. You don't get the cravings you normally get. So it, we never talk about calories. But for some people, they're really interested in getting fit, losing weight, getting back in balance. These are the perfect dishes and working without using oil. That was a tip from Lisa Carlin. It's easier to use a spoon. And then make sure you got more water oh, in there. This thing is slip sliding the way you guys are telling me to do it. You need, you need a little bit more water too. Yeah. Or else think, it'll burn. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to burn. Okay. What, let's just check back on our sauce here, cooking away. And you can see I've got the gas really low. And it's still, so you gotta keep that gas low and stir about once every 20 minutes, I would say on that. But it's doing great right now. My stove doesn't like that. It wants to be up a little higher. And you got any good jokes, John? I think, John, you're a genius. Look at that, folks. Yeah, but I think you need more water. Or it'll, they'll burn. They'll start to burn. Well, I want them just to get a little more oh. crispy, but I'll, okay, we'll do that. We'll as soon as you're, when, but when you're ready for that, then you can take the water out. Yeah, okay. So what I do is I use my good zero water. And we'll put that back here. Let that keep going. Boy, it's starting to smell good. So since I'm ready to go here with this sauce, let me just show you the final sauce, what it looks like. There's our sauce, our wonderful sauce. Okay, so within that sauce, I'm going to add our meatballs. Let's add a few meatballs. And that's where you would let this cook in. So with my clean hands, I'm dropping a couple in. You want to get them soaked down in there. I'll keep the rest for later. Soak them in. Get them down. Can you show how I'm getting them? Just come really close in. They're real close up. See how I'm kind of enveloping them in the sauce? And that's how you would cook them now. And that you would do that for an hour and add the sausage too, but as time is not permitting here, or maybe, uh, yeah, I think we will get a sausage in there for sure. But right now it's kind of uh, 
you know, we're just kind of waiting for that to finish. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here and uh, drain my pasta, which looks like it's ready. So John, can you just turn the camera and talk for a second? Because I'm going to run and get a mitt so I don't burn my hands. Okay. So you're on. I don't need. I don't need to get in front of the camera, though, Tom. For for those of you who, uh, particularly the men, who haven't been to a barber in weeks because you can't, um, so we look a little bit like a shaggy dog. Uh, saw I saw uh, Anderson Cooper on the news, and he tried to give himself a haircut and wound up with a big bald spot. So, so uh, okay, I got the pasta. Good job. You're a good good. Uh What's it called? Not, what's I'm the a, guy that helps Johnny Carson? Oh, I don't know. The sidekick. You're my sidekick. You're a really good sidekick. So we got our pasta ready here. I pre-cooked it. And it's all good to go. And our, well, we're ready to plate, which won't be long, because we're just really waiting for the sausage. And just let that kind of simmer inside the... Uh, in the sauce like the, the, the meatball. So you guys get the idea, right? You're just basically using the meat, the beef, in this case, plant-based meat, which tastes just as good, if I think better, and it's much healthier for you. And there's no cruelty, nobody has to die, nobody has to be harmed. You're gonna put the sausage in there whole, or do you cut it up? Uh, I normally put it in there whole. We, I realize we have a small pot, it's just to show you a demo. But normally you would use more of a pot. That's a great question, by the way. This size, this, can they see this pot? Show them the pot. Okay, this pot here, normally it would be the size, and everything goes in together. The sausage, the sauce, the meatballs, and then you cook for an hour. Now, remember, you're using plant-based meat, so keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it because it might be a little sooner that it's ready, you know, in terms of making sure it doesn't break apart. Because as you can see, it's not breaking apart right now. And it, would, it will stay that way for a while. And you want to seep all the flavors in together. That's the purpose of having them cook together for an hour, is to seep everything <laughs> together. I think this sausage is pretty much cooked. It's been about 10 minutes. And I'm going to just pick one for now. Take so one Tom, Tom says yes, only cut it up for babies. But in that case, I have to qualify as one because I cut mine up when I do it. Well, that's fine. You know, but Tom says no. He likes them whole. Oh, Tom likes them whole. Now, look at this. Bring the camera and show. This is your sauce and your meat cooking together. I hope you got a good shot of that. Yes, he does. But you can see those chunky meatballs in there and the chunky sausage, and that cooks together all together. Say 45 minutes to an hour. Let that all cook. Even if it crumbles, it's going to taste great. That's called ragu. So you've got no way to lose here. But it won't. It will stay together. So cook them up. Maybe let them sit also for a little while before you put everything in together. So, you know, this is only my second or th third time making it with the um, Beyond Meat. And I, no one can taste the difference. It won't break up. So that's your sauce there, folks. Let's go ahead and plate it. You can see the whole process was extremely easy. So let's go ahead. I'm going to plate this, and I'll switch with John. Uh, let me get a nice plate out here for my hubby. Oh, while we're over here, John, can you just come in close on this? I want to show something to our audience that's interested in learning some fabulous recipes. Okay, I have to do a little... Shameless plug there, that's me. And this is New Day New Chef. And this is one of our fabulous athletes and chefs. And then here's the show. And you can watch this show free on Amazon Prime if you're a Prime subscriber. If you're not, it's only 99 cents. And it is loaded with amazing, let me just see if I have one more. No, I thought I had another picture. It's loaded with amazing recipes and fun. It is just hilarious. Plate this and we're good to go. So let me plate it. Don't forget Amazon Prime, New Day, New Chef. Watch it, you'll enjoy it. There's Let's Jane. See. Hi, Jane. How are you, Jane? She we're, said we're hilarious. We are. Well, people, yeah, people have said that before. Together. Humor in uniform here. <laughs> okay, so let me get the pasta. It's the non cook. He's actually the better chef. That's the irony of all this. He's 
definitely the chef of the family. So I think just people, a sec. I think people can tell that. Oops. Uh, we got a little Alexa friend talking. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plate this for John, my darling husband. I'm going to give him a meet the bowl, just like my mama. Just like going to your cousins like at Christmas. Like going to my cousins for Christmas. Except it's no problem. This is uh, cruelty free. Nobody had to die for this wonderful meal. And healthier for you, healthy for the planet. Let me just take a little tweak off my plate here. It looks messy, messy. So there you go, husband. I'm going to switch with you. And for those of you that like it, where's that vegan Parmesan? I know it's in the refrigerator. We got some vegan parm. You want to hold this and I'll see if I can get it? I can't, I can't hold it? both, so. Why don't you put the camera here on the lovely dish? Show this. Show your plate. Ready to go for you. And he wants me to put some. If I can. Up the top. Up at the top. I think. Okay, if we don't see it here, people. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There it is. Follow your heart. Good job, John. Follow your heart parmesan by uh, follow your heart. That's right, because that's why it's called follow your heart parmesan. So I'm going to give him a little shot of the parm. Oh, mama. There you go. Woo! Look at that. Is that fabulous? Well, let's find out. You. Tom says, John is so lucky. Do you add nutritional yeast? Uh, I don't. I don't think she does either. You know what the thing is? Nutritional yeast is a wonderful product. It gives a cheesy flavor. But no need to add because we've got the Parmesan. Let me oh, get man. You. It's making me hungry. I'm going to give it to you right now, buddy. You're going to get it. Okay. That's all yours. Give me the camera. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm going to get a knife real quick. He has to get a knife. Look at that spaghetti. Mama style. My mama is upstairs, actually. She's resting. Okay, well, tell me when to eat. You can eat. You can eat. Oh, boy. There he is. Oh, boy. How do you like it? Wait. You like it? Mm -hmm. Try the meat the bowl. And you're right. Can't tell the difference. Not on the sausage at all. Now that's coming from somebody that is still pre-vegan. Not yet, but we're working on it. So the there you go. It tastes the same. The more and quicker people are going to convert. That's right. What you just said is gold. The more it tastes like for those that need that flavor. See, to me, once in a while, this is great. But I love my veggies. I love my fruit. I don't miss anything from the meat world, really. Um, but anyway, folks, there you have it. Good. The Baker Uptures coming to you from Woodland Hills and my mama's recipe. So stay yeah. healthy. Go ahead, John. I should have poured myself a glass of Pinot Noir to go along with well, it. Or Chianti, really. Well, what's stopping you? Once we go off, you can uh, do whatever you please, darling. But yeah, so, but remember, be responsible, drink responsibly, and eat healthy food. Oops, let me show you one more shot of that food. Drink red wine at lunch. No, and look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? All right, folks, you saw it, you heard it, and it's easy peasy. So we'll see you next time. Next time, I'm going to make stuffed peppers. I'm going to make a whole bunch. I'm going to veganize every single recipe my mom ever made, and she's an amazing chef. So there you have it. Catch you later. Thanks for watching.